Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Jewel Street. Today I have a really exciting unboxing from Majuri, and I figured that I'd also share a couple of pieces that I have from them as well. Majuri is a Canadian-based jewelry brand that sells fine jewelry or semi-fine jewelry, and they have a lot of signature basic kind of stylish pieces. They definitely cater to a lot of different styles, but one thing that is common among all their designs is that they are trendy and classic at the same time. So let's start off with unboxing this piece right here that I recently purchased. I was looking for a staple everyday ring that had a little something something, and this one is from their fine jewelry collection. So here we go. So I love this gold tape that they have on the box. It's very bling. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here, that's super cute. Um, so here it is in this cotton dust bag and then it comes with these two pieces of paper. This has my order number on it and a QR code on the back. And then this is a little promotional pamphlet, I believe. So let's get right to it. So nice drawstring cotton dust bags. So here it is, and it's in this lovely little jewelry box that has the signature Majuri stamp right here, and of course the name of the brand. And ooh, here we are. So the item is in here. Actually, let's, let's get started with the item first before I get into these little things. I'm really excited for this. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh wow, the diamonds are tiny. <laughs> but they're so beautiful. I love how organized they are. So, I guess I'll tell you what this is. This is the Pave Diamond Slim Signet Ring in 14 karat yellow gold and obviously diamonds as well. So I love how shiny these diamonds are. They definitely are not dull diamonds. So I bought this ring because honestly it was so highly reviewed on their website and I've loved every piece that I've gotten from them. And people were raving about this ring and I, I, I see why. So this retails for $400. And as you can see when it's new, they have this little tag on it. So you can't take it off unless you wanna keep it. Oh, fits really nicely. And they have a bunch of different sizes online. Oh, that's so beautiful and delicate. And, you know, the di even though it's covered in diamonds, it's not like super flashy or anything like that. So I can see myself wearing this all the time. And I think it would look good with so many other rings as well. It's gorgeous. Let me try it on my middle finger. Ah, so pretty. So my footage was cut short and I am filming this a few days later. I am absolutely loving this ring and I've definitely decided to keep it. I looked it up and the diamonds are round single cut diamonds in the sizes of 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.8, and 0 0.9 millimeters and I think the total carat weight was 0 0.165. I just love how this looks and look at how it sparkles in the indoor light. Absolutely stunning. And I'm, def I'm definitely keeping this. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to cut this off right here, right now. <laughs> um, on a side note, aren't these scissors so beautiful? Um, they're so pretty. It's official! <laughs> I am so happy to welcome this ring to my collection from Majuri. It's so beautiful. Before we move on to the rest of my Majuri collection, I just want to share what came inside the jewelry box. So it came with a storage strip paper, which I think is their version of a desiccant. 
and it comes with this um, jewelry polishing cloth. Don't throw this away. This is amazing. It's like a cotton treated fabric and you use this to polish um, basically any of your, you know, gold jewelry or silver jewelry. It doesn't have to be Mary. Um, so definitely keep this around. It's nice and small and very handy. So now I want to move on and show you the rest of my Mary collection. Let me know which piece ends up being your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe. All right, let's get to it. To start off with, it's this croissant dome ring in the gold for mail. This was my very first purchase and then from Mejuri and I have been absolutely blown away by the quality of this ring. I have worn this ring to death. I've worn it for about two to three years now and it still looks great. I will show you some up close shots so that you can see kind of the wear and tear over the years. I definitely did not baby this ring at all. It has gone through baths of hand sanitizer and so much hand washing. And I believe they don't really recommend that you do that. Like I said, I just didn't baby this ring and it is still holding up. They do offer this ring in 14 karat gold but since this was my first purchase, I was a little nervous to invest that much and I didn't want to spend too much on a ring that was a bit more of a statement. Like I'd never had a ring um, like this before. I think this is kind of like my most statement ring, but I'm so glad that I did. This ring has really held up and made me feel quite confident to purchase from Mejuri again and even buy more of their gold for mail pieces. So when they had their Black Friday friends and family sale last year, I purchased a bunch of items for the holiday season. And that brings me to the first item in that group and that is the metallic spheres ring. This is also in gold for mail. And this ring is so gorgeous and I absolutely love it. I believe that they now have kind of a 14 karat gold version. I think it's called like the bold spheres ring or something like that. I, I may consider buying that in the future, but for now, this just does it for me. It's so delicate, elegant, and charming, and the beaded texture, I think it just looks fantastic. Again, like my other gold vermeil ring, this has been through a lot and it still looks great. Now for the next ring, it's the honey ring. I, I can't seem to find it right now, but I'll insert some, some clips for your reference. It has this beautiful honeybee motif on it that has a, a very special meaning to me. And the ring was just too cute to pass up. I get so many compliments on it and it still looks great. It's also in gold for male and it has held up very well as well. For fine jewelry, I purchased this couple right here. These are the beaded huggy hoops in 14 karat yellow gold. And I intended to wear these as everyday earrings. And I certainly fulfilled that. <laughs> I wear these earrings every single day to sleep, in the shower, to work, at the gym. They're so versatile and they're minimal. They go with everything and they're just really comfortable as well. Like I'm comfortable sleeping in these. I really highly recommend these as an everyday earring if you're looking for one. They've held up really great, which I expected since it was yellow gold. But in all seriousness, the quality is fantastic. The closures are incredibly secure. I have never had an issue with these opening on me at any point and I really appreciate that. These are absolutely beautiful, highly recommend these. Last but not least, I had also purchased the Majuri travel case in the beige green leather. The lining is a anti-tarnish micro suede, it has this beautiful gold hardware here. Um, it's the perfect size. You can also get this monogram, but I chose not to. I have always wanted this case, and after a couple of years of eyeing it, I decided to purchase it. This has ended up being absolutely perfect for when I travel. Not only does it keep my pieces nice and organized, it also maintains them and makes sure that they're not bouncing around, getting tangled and scratching each other up. And as you saw, I just flipped it upside down and it's still, all, all the pieces have kind of lain exactly the way I had put them 
in place. It's also just really aesthetically pleasing to me. One piece of advice that I have found with this case though is that you really don't want to overfill it. Take it from me, it kind of ruins the point of the case. It tends to look really cluttered, things can get a little disarrayed. And honestly, this is a travel case, so it's not a, you're supposed to have all your jewelry in it. Um, so this has definitely forced me to pare down what I take with me sometimes. And actually that's worked out for the better because at the end of the day, I don't even wear half the stuff I bring to places anyways. <laughs> So it, it's worked out. Anyways, I do recommend this travel case. I, I really do love like the details, the leather here and the fact that it um, unclips and clips. It just makes it very easy to pull things in and out of this case. And I could not recommend it enough. So that about sums up my Majuri jewelry collection. And I hope that you enjoyed the unboxing and the overview of each of the items in my collection. If you did, I would love it if you could give me a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, please ask me any questions that you have in the comments and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!